Hi everyone, it's Julia. This past week I been I have been making junk journals and I thought I would show you what I came up with. Uh, they're fun. I, I'm using vintage patterns that I actually get at the thrift store. Uh, my local thrift store sells the vintage patterns for 25 cents each, which is a really good value. I mean, I honestly, look at this one. I, the copyright, let me look once. They usually say in the back the date. This is a 1966 pattern. Isn't that just fun? I love the graphics. The first thing I do um, I, is I take I take the pattern tissue paper out, but I do leave the instructions inside. That kind of gives it a little bit more structure because I am using my cinch to bind these. Now. I sell my things in an, I have my an Etsy shop, I do also have a little summer shop, and I do a few craft shows also. Um, so I, I, when, I, when I do my junk journals, I do several of them at once. And that helps with the time element so I can keep the price down a little bit. And so when I put, I mean there's like little tuck spots and there's um, stamping and there's tags that I put inside, and I do those like all in all at once like I'll like this particular journal or has four tags and all four tags are this are the same for all my journals so I, I made 10 or whatever of each tag so I'll show you kind of just do a little a flip through oh uh, let's see I think there's a couple here that I have the tags in already okay all the, all the paper inside is coffee stained and again I stained them all at the same time so just to, to help eliminate some of the some of the, um, the busy labor work I use a lot of my um, sewing themed things for this journal for instance this is a Tim Holtz die this um, hourglass this mannequin I did a stamping that some of the stampings that I did were uh, create create or passion or inspire type words for instance this one says inspire and create this one says follow your passion I also use just little stamps that I again had so it's been kind of fun to be able to really use those things I did use some tuck spots with with the coffee stained doilies paper doilies Here's one of the little tags. This one says, imagine. It has some lace, so I actually went to the sewing machine and sewed these, and again, I sewed 10 of them at a time. Um, another tuck spot on the back side of that with another cute little tag. And again, this is another die cut that from the Tim Holtz. It's like the little button. Many of the pages I, I laid the paper doilies on top while I baked them so it has this imprint and I love the it has like a real lacy kind of uh, I don't know sewing theme so I thought that was really just really appropriate I tore some of the paper tissue and just kind of sewed that in just for an added little element um, again the word inspire this is another fun little that I, I saw it on a, on a YouTube video some someplace, but it's just an index card that I folded over, sewed on on two sides, and then it's a real nice little spot to tuck. <clears throat> I, I cinched a little envelope inside, and the envelope holds another tag. And then Oh, another thing I really enjoy doing with the cinch is laying the tags the horizontal way and cinching the ends of it. And then I love because you can put the ribbon or trim or whatever laces and, and they'll actually hang off the book. And it just really gives it that sewing, kind of that sewing theme. Another one, too, is a little paper clip. And this is a little yo-yo paper clip. I sell these individually or sell them in groups of three also. And I'm going to be doing an upcoming video on this. The packaging on these are really fun and cute. So I suck. This is just like a little thing that says just a note. 
And again, another little place in the little journal spot. And that's about it in the end. Back, I just kind of put another little thing. This has little um, our mannequins. Some of them do have tears in them, and I try to, to re, just kind of repair them a little bit with washi. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. I I really love them. They're, they're the, the coffee stain paper makes them chunky, and it really adds volume to the, to the book. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a chance to just make, kind of think outside the box a little bit. These make wonderful craft fair ideas if any of you are are into that kind of a thing I I hope you enjoyed this um, have a great great week and thank you so much for watching bye